Yeah, meeting yeah. up with Snow and Kurt again and they're passing us a little Kimadora shot. Welcome shots. Hey, <laughs> Welcome gift. Bienvenido. Shot. Last night we met up with our van friends, Snow and Kurt. We made some plans to head to Messiah tonight. This volcano is best at night. Yeah, so excited. But first we're gonna check out the capital. Most importantly, we're gonna head to the skate park. We found here the best skate park I've seen in months. And I love it because Managua, a lot of people say, it's not touristy. There's nothing to see. But this is epic. We had a very nice day. Found a vegetarian restaurant for Emily. It was super good. And you can tell these transitions. Sketch. Not too bad. It's gonna be really fun. Over here, wall ride, box jump. Oh, this place is sick. And this wall ride seems to play. A lot of marks. That is probably set back three feet. So just gotta get changed up. Get on the bike. Messiah has a few craters as well as a couple hikes and Zabrita is allowed to come with us this time which is a huge plus. Right from the parking lot is the main attraction but we're gonna check back with that when it gets a little dark outside and right now we're gonna hike up to another crater with Kurt. When I first looked into Masaya, I was absolutely awestruck. Staring into the Earth's core and watching it violently bubble is an incredible experience that everyone should see. We could only be at the crater edge for 20 minutes, but the security guard was very nice about it. He didn't mind when we came back for another look. This is due to the fumes the volcano emits, but I'm sure it's also so other visitors can get a look and take a few pictures. The smell wasn't sulfuric, but it was very different. It gave me a bit of a headache after a long time up there. After hanging out with Snow and Kurt for a little bit and deciding where we wanted to meet up next, they headed into the mountains where we just were. Since we're at Messiah today, we're gonna check out the lava tubes and other hikes around the crater. So here from the visitor center overlook, you can see the lava fields. Yeah, 
that's the Messiah Lagoon created by Messiah Volcano. So during the day, it's way stinkier. There's a lot more cloud of gas. You can't quite see into the bottom. But you can do one hike over to here. You can also hike up this crater. Like we went yesterday to see the view. You can go all the way around it. And over here, I think we're going to check out this little trail. Somewhere over here. and they have this hidden tunnel that comes down on the tree to get out and he just he just broke it a little bit here so you can see and then he ate one he ate it yep. these termites have this hidden tunnel all the way i think i've seen those everywhere bunch of roots growing all through this cave. They said we wouldn't even be able to go in here, Emily. Wow. So we, we got to come in and we got to bring Sombrita. <laughs> Sombrita. Que bien. Sombrita. <laughs> en una cueva. Es tu primera cueva? Oh, she's listening. Está escuchando. <laughs> These branches just growing all into the cave. Yeah, the vines are so wild. And this is a really long lava tunnel cave. It just goes straight. So these roots go all the way outside here to this tree. Yeah, that root way in there, one of the most hardy trees that can overtake a place after a volcano explodes. <laughs> Gracias, Solman! Okay. <laughs> well, that cave tour. So nice. It's really cool in the cave. Yeah, Sombrita got to go in a cave. They never let a dog go in a cave. No. And they even told us we wouldn't be able to, but now on the way back, there's one more possible side hike I want to do. We go up this hill here. We pretty much have to climb the whole thing anyway to get back over there. So there's a massive crater there that you can't see in it, except for that spot where we were, because it's just so steep. Well, I'm really glad I came up here. You can see there in the bottom left is where we went to the lava tube cave. And there's the main crater. They call Santiago de Masaya. This is one of the older craters of Masaya. And then over here, I got a view. That lake is another old crater. I used to road trip around in the Honda Accord a lot. I learned that if you determine an area that you think might be scenic, you see a road there, 
Check out Google Satellite View and see if you find something that looks kind of like this today. That's right by the volcano. It seems like there's a road around it. So if we're able to get onto this road, it looks like we could camp right on the lake shore there underneath the shadow of the volcano at times. Pretty sweet, huh? Okay, let's check it out. That's how you find a spot. Here's our turn. It looks like a pretty nice road. We're gonna have to pay attention compared to the last roads. It's been really good roads. It says uh, 17 minutes, 11 kilometers. So far, this is a nice road, right Emily? We saw this string of volcanoes on the 3D map today up in this morning in Messiah. That, this time it didn't work out. The Google satellite view. So it can work out and it can be a great way to find spots. The process here is I have to get a permit. So we're gonna go sleep very close by still. Probably 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes off the road again. And it's right by the beach, should be pretty cool. This tuk tuk is stuck in the sand here. So I'm trying to wait, make sure I can go the, the good way over this path. Oh, he's got it. Pretty nice camp spot here. Thanks to I Overlander. So Brita's loving the view. Momotombo, right there. Can't see the top because it's smoking. Over here, beautiful lake. Had to drive on the sand, but you check what parts are hard. Hopefully that's at least one van life skill that will help today because I did not get that satellite view spot. But this is very nice. Semana Santa. Delivery. French fry delivery right to my bed. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. It's pretty great. Getting kind of full today. We're getting pretty epic solar here at this beach spot, so I'm gonna get up there, clean off the panel, see if I can get that output even better. 174. We're going for the high score today. I don't remember the high score, so we're starting the high score today. So we're seeing a 10% increase in solar output after I got up there. Quick wipe of the panels. Panels have been going for 1,260 days today. They're still getting 193 watts today out of a maximum of 200. Really happy with how the system's turned out. Get done. These guys are gonna put a pole in right behind us. We're gonna have to figure this out. get off of this beach. When you're driving on the sand, you gotta be really careful to stay on the hard pack. Danny's been running out, checking how hard it is still, the part that we're gonna drive, seeing if we've got a way out. Yeah. There's people standing in the middle of the yeah. hard part, so we might have to ask them to move. Let's see, I'll just hold. They said I could, I could sneak through here. Oh, -ho! babe, the wheels were definitely sinking in. That was a good work, good oh. work. Yeah, the wheels were definitely sinking in, but I just gave it enough velocity before we got to the soft part. I didn't even have to really give it any gas in there. Next spot. Thanks for joining us on our Nicaraguan adventures. See you next time when we do some sweet stuff over in Leon.